I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> I'm kind of having second thoughts. But I think this time for change. It gets so tangled. Hi guys, welcome back. I know it's been a long time. Ooh, there's a bee. I've even cut my hair. Okay. <laughs> it needed to be gone. It, we're on well water, so it gets really tangled. Um, but not anymore because it's short. Anyway, so last time, last time uh, that we were here, we were doing preparations for us moving out here, and we hadn't done a whole lot of working on the house. So we are finally starting to get back into working on the house, and nothing says like let's get to work other than concrete work. So what we're doing today is we are setting up our like our on our outside porch our front porch and they are laying that concrete down and let me tell you if you are trying to get concrete last minute good luck okay we pra practically begged someone and by the grace of God somebody came on very last minute called six o'clock this morning and somebody actually confirmed and let us know that he was going to be here and help us out uh, which is you know great we couldn't be happier about that so we have again my some help here my father-in-law my my brother-in-law and a friend of the family let me show you what they're doing already so they're like halfway done already <laughs> hold on this is the front porch that they're working on. For the carpet? Yeah. Just like any other like commercial slab, 
we're not using that this time because it's too thick. So we're actually using number four rebar, which is pretty thick. Um, but we'd rather do it now than have to fix it down down the line sometime. So, uh, so yeah, we still have a lot of work to do. thing left behind will be our piers, our cement piers. So tonight's gonna be maybe an all-nighter. I don't think so, but it is gonna be a long. Well, it gets dark really early, so so it's not as late as you think, but it's it's pretty late already. About 7:30, right? No, it's nine o'clock. What? Weirdo. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. Then it's like <laughs> we might be pulling an all-nighter. The thing is, I gotta finish these forms. Uh, we spend a lot of time on that back, on the back porch. And well, when ordering concrete, you can only order, well, they have a minimum of six yards. And it was only about four yards with the back and this little step that we're doing up in front. And that's not enough. And I still have this to do, and we we're gonna leave it for later because, you know, it's only one guy really that knows what he's doing. <laughs> and we're just helpers. and. I mean, I'm learning, but and doing a lot of the work. But you have a helper. I mean, who? Right there. Yeah, hey, freaking cat. Right there. Yes, Mr. Mr. Jewish, whatever. It, her, name. her name is Madame Seamus. Madame Seamus. Don't uh, insult her. Well, this is what I'm doing. I gotta get it done. The, the concrete shows up at 10:30, so. We already pre-started it. My the guy that's helping me out took off this afternoon, so I'm I'm finishing it up. Still quite a bit to do. I still gotta do the front. There's another piece, oh another dig goodness. I gotta do. So yeah, there's quite a bit to do. Um, so let's get to it. Let me get to it. <laughs> yeah. until 4 o'clock this morning working on these forms. They're still not 100% done and the cement should should be here pretty soon. But there has been, I mean, the, the back side is finished and that's ready to go. The back side. And then the side part is also finished, which is ready to go. We are just finishing up this front because we also want to throw in the concrete for this part as well. So the trench is about, I'd say, eight inches deep into the ground, and it's connecting to this little sidewalk, this little exit area. It's one of our steps. And we're just following it along. It's supposed to be five and a half inches, but I think they're doing a little bit more. So we're just taking that around. So in essence, it'll look kind of like our skirting. And maybe it'll look kind of like it's as if the shipping containers were sitting on an actual foundation, like on a slab foundation, and not on piers. But we're stopping it here for now because we need the rest of it exposed because we do still need access for everything that's going to go downstairs, which is all of our plumbing, electric, all of that good stuff.
the only part that's left over. And according to my calculations, which you know I was wrong over here, um, it should be about a little bit over half a yard. Which, if you do it by by 80 pound bags, that should be around like 45 <laughs> bags. So it's an entire pallet. So that's still a lot of work. Unless we wait and see if we have any more concrete to pour somewhere else, then we'll take it and do it then. We poured concrete and then the next day it snows. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. I think it'll cure. This is freaking awesome y'all. It never snows out here. But yeah, we got this done and we're about to just, we have to cover them because it was drying real slow because it was cold so we cover it we cover them once we finish you know sort of finishing it up and whatnot and to protect it because the night that night was going to freeze and sure enough it did you can tell on um, this other areas that it's a little whitish kind of because the concrete did freeze so but there is not so important because it's it's not a it's not structural it's, it's not structural literally for the looks of it yeah um so so we're gonna unveil this and make sure that everything's all right. And if not, you'll see it along with us. Okay. <laughs> so let's see. Let's check it out. So this is what we're talking about. When it's white like this at the top, it means it actually froze during the time that it's supposed to be curing. But the rest of it looks good. I mean, Wet. It's wet, so we have to see until it's dry. Well, we'll see. Look the same. <laughs> <laughs> so we won't really know until it's completely. Yeah, I mean, but it's, it looks like it did freeze. Fine. You can see, like even here, it's the wet. But, but it'll it'll be okay. If we have to stain it to make it because it drives us nuts, we'll we'll stain it. <clears throat> Go. <laughs> I like it. I look it, I look. Come on, nice. I mean, here we still have some work to do and just taking out these forms, but it'll be a few weeks before we can take them off. So we knew there was a cat in there, and then obviously Liz started feeding her every freaking day. <laughs> Yeah. And the cats now are a cat. Yeah. He's, a, he's our barn cat. We found this cutie on the side of the road one day. We were, actually she was crossing the street. Like two weeks ago. And then uh, we went across the street to from where we found her to ask if she belonged to someone. And the lady's like, no, and it's not anybody near us because we're all family and she just doesn't seem to belong here. So I'm like, well, we were looking for a companion for Frida. So now we have one. <laughs> we need a pebbles. Oh my goodness. Frida hasn't met her yet. No. Because Frida's been quarantining with my family. 